أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this video I want to tell you something important about Ramadan especially about its third Ushra Now we are in the middle of Ramadan and as you know Ramadan is a month of blessings Uh, this is the month of fasting, patience, sacrifices, generosity. We must fast in this month. Alhamdulillah, we Muslims do fast in this month. And also, we must try to feed hungry people in this month. There is great reward uh, in this month. Every reward becomes multiplied. If it is uh, uh, a nafal action, It is optional action, a good deed which is optional, not obligatory. Its reward in Ramadan becomes equal to the, the, act, to the action which is obligatory, like first action. And if it is an obligatory action, then its reward increases 70 times. It becomes 70 times, times more uh, than The, the reward in other months so this is the month of blessings and we must try to get great benefit from this month according to a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to his hadith the month of Ramadan is divided into three ushra every ushra contains 10 days so the first ushra extends from first day of Ramadan to the 10th one and it is called the Ushra of Rahma, the, the Ushra of Mercy. The second uh, Ushra extends from 11th to 20th uh, Ramadan and it is called the Ushra of Maghfira. In this month we get Maghfira, that means forgiveness for our sins. And the third Ushra is called the Ushra of Nijat Amin an -nar. That means safety, the Ushra of safety from the hellfire. Uh, so we must try to do a lot of worship, all types of worship, uh, bodily worship, doing zikr, doing salat, and also worship with money, giving charities, and earn a lot in this month. And are ex uh, a great taqwa in this month. And uh, the taqwa which even remains exists after the end of this month. Alhamdulillah, this is a great month. A great month in which we become muttaqeen. But so something very special with the third ushra. Uh, the, remember that this month, uh, this Ramadan, uh, has a special night which is called Laylatul Qadr. The Holy Quran, revelation of the Holy Quran, was started in the month of Ramadan. And uh, the Laylatul Qadr, which is the special night, a powerful night, the night of decree, the, the night of Qadr, it comes in the last 10 days of Ramadan. The last Ushra, third Ushra, It is from 21st of Ramadan up to 29th or 30th of Ramadan, depending on the uh, sighting of the moon. So the Laylatul Qadr comes in, in the last 10 days. And Aitikaf is uh, a special type of worship uh, for which uh, a Muslim has to sit, stay in the masjid for 10 days. Uh, all the time he remembers Allah, sleeps a little, also doesn't speak uselessly and uh, does worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tries to find the Laylatul Qadr. Because if we could find the Laylatul Qadr, if we could do uh, zikr and worship on the night of Laylatul Qadr, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr khair min alf shahr. The Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand of months. 
that means if we could find that night and if we could worship on that night we will earn a reward of more than uh, 1000 uh, months worship it is higher it is better than 1000 months of worship so only in the, uh, the in the time of one night we can earn a reward of more than 80 years although our life may not be 80 years but only in one ramadan if you could find this lailatul qadr we can earn the reward of worship 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 of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is more than 80 years so that is a great night and therefore people do itikaf to find that night we must pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to to give us that night the worship of that night and we we must also try to to find that night sit at night uh, especially in the last ushra in the last 10 days of ramadan worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say astaghfirullah astaghfirullah alazim la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum wa atubu ilayh and also ya rabbi ighfir warham wa anta khairur rahimin different type of duas we must uh, uh, ask from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha told us that in the nights of ramadan we must say allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbul afwa fa afu anna ya kareem allahumma innaka afuwan ya allah you are afuwan 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 is the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, afuwan also means uh, forgiving the sins ghafur the one who forgives the sins afuwan is the, the one who forgives the sins but the difference is that uh, afuwan completely omits the sins so that the uh, book of deed becomes clean clear from sins so uh, we pray in in uh, with this name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allahumma innaka afwan ya allah you are surely afwan tuhibbul afwa you you love afwa you love that one should forgive that means we also must forgive to each other and we must seek the forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anna ya kareem so ya allah you also do afwa to us you are the or the honorable lord or the generous lord uh, this is the dua which aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala told us allahumma innaka afun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu anna ya kareem so please uh, try to get um, more and more benefit from uh, ramadan and especially the last ushra and also you make salat regularly and don't leave salat after ramadan don't leave the, those good deeds after ramadan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us successful because the last ushra is the safety from hell fire and if we could get safety from the hell fire that is a great great grand success may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that success amin subhan rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahima wa ala ibrahima innaka hamidum majid